Okay, guys, I'm gonna stop real quick. I'm at mile uh, 4.26. Um, I had no clue that they uh, put in a 9/11 uh, memorial, but uh, at the park here. But uh, I figured we should uh, take a break and have everybody see it. And here's one of the beams from the tower. Crazy. And then that's. Oh shoot! Sorry, guys. Um, my finger is over everything. So yeah, here's one of the beams from the uh, World Trade Center. Huh. You kind of wonder which piece of it it is. What floor? If it's like a top floor, or a bottom floor. Um, let's see. There are two ways of entertaining one's strength. One is pushing down, the other is pulling up. Booker T. Washington. Hey, man. So, uh, I figured I'd, uh, get that on the video. Since I'm, uh, on a little journey here. And, uh, I'll start running in a minute here again. Let's see what else we got over here. There's another couple placards. <clears throat> oh, my throat. The event on September 11th, 2001, America suffered an assault on its home soil that resulted in almost 3,000 dead and countless others physically and emotionally wounded. The victims <coughs> were nationals of more than 70 countries, making this tragedy global in impact. Dedication on this, the 11th day of September 2011, on the 10th anniversary of September 11th, this memorial is a lasting tribute to the heroes who perished, le least we forget. And the scripture, the twin towers of the World Trade Center in New York City are an icon of the events of September 11, 2001, and a constant reminder of the human loss there. At the Pentagon in Washington, D.C., and in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, this monument displays a segment of a steel girder salvaged from the World Trade Center site in the aftermath of the attack. The steel cable was part of the World Trade Center elevator and was ac acquired only a few months before tragedy struck. Um, they are displayed here in a simple setting to keep fresh in our memory the stark reality of September 11th and to encourage the reflection on the events of that day and their enduring consequences. It's a nice monument. It's really, it's really nice. Well done. So, uh, see the things you get to experience when you go out and run? You get to uh, really kind of take life in. It really frees your mind. And uh, ever since I've been running, it's been just an awesome gift. So uh, I encourage people to get out and, um, you know, just experience the world this way. It's, it's great. You get, your eyes are open to a lot more things. You're going slower than you normally do in a car at 60. So you can take things in a lot more. So uh, I'm going to keep going. I'll probably check in with you at the end. I got about four miles left. I'm at four and a quarter. So I think I got at least four left to get home. So um, I'll check in around then. I'll talk to you. Bye.